cowabunga dude today we're gonna take a look at the sewer samurai leonardo from the original ninja turtles toy line stay tuned hey guys welcome back to come again tv the only place on youtube where all geek culture collides if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos as i said earlier this is leonardo the sewer samurai Leonardo the Sewer Samurai came out during Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 year toy line. Uh, I believe it was the third series of Ninja Turtles figures to be released by Playmates. Uh, of course, uh, they began producing Ninja Turtles figures in 1988 to coincide with the, uh, the animated series. Uh, they continued into 1989 and then all the way up until 1992. As you can see here, Leonardo does come with a number of accessories. Apologize for that, guys. I had to move my light. Uh, my arm was getting in the way of blocking it. So he does come with a number of say, accessories. The first being his shield, which is all green and paint and does slightly resemble a turtle shield or a turtle shell. Up next is his sword as well as his sheath. The sword does slide right into the sheath just like that. Very nice. Uh, I think it I think it was made in two parts and then it was just Kind of pegged together. Then up next is his Sewer Samurai flag. As you can see, uh, a Japanese sun there. The flag Sewer Samurai. Very nice. I was very lucky to find this Leonardo. Uh, I had him as a kid. Over the years I lost him. Uh, I was at Primary Colors Retro Relics in Lincoln, Illinois one day and came across him. Uh, Mickey ha over there had quite a few of them, uh, but he only had maybe a couple that were complete with all the accessories. Now, aside from the accessories, one of the main things that always came up missing with these samurai figures, like Leonardo and Usagi Ojimbo and Pandacon were these pads on his shoulders and thighs. Those always came up missing along with the belt. The belt does snap in place by a peg, but it's very difficult. I'm not going to take it off because it is very difficult to put back together. Uh, the paint job on this guy is pretty pristine with the exception of the horns on the helmet. Uh, those have kind of worn over the years, but other than that, not a bad job. I really like these Samurai Ninja Turtle figures. Uh, I didn't like the ones from Ninja Turtles 3, uh, even though they were similar style. Uh, they just weren't as bright and vibrant. Uh, they weren't along the same uh, TMNT Playmates style that we had come grown used to. Um, they were okay, but again, they weren't along the main toy line that we became used to. 
as you can see here, very nice bright blue along with the black. Bright blue on the edges and decor on his armor. Got the red pads, gold chest plate, and gold helmet. Very, very nice. Again, the, sa the samurai figures were always my favorite of the Ninja Turtles toy line. Uh, samurai Leonardo, uh, Pandacon, Usagi Ojimbo. I'm not sure what it was. I just think I like the design for the most part of those figures. Um, and as you can see, he's wearing standard samurai... Uh, sandals I guess you would call them I wouldn't say they were slippers I wouldn't say they were flip-flops because most of the time uh, they were kind of made out of wood um, but yeah love the detail on this figure I was very lucky to find such a pristine figure at the store uh, for those of you who want, are wondering uh, the sword does fit in his hands it is a little loose at top, but you had that with the Ninja Turtle figures back in the day. And it should also fit in the other hand. Uh, yeah, pretty loose though. Uh, something else that was very... Uh, That happened a lot with the Playmates Ninja Turtles figures were at the joints. They were just pegs. See, just pegs. A lot of times kids would end up uh, stressing them too much, pop the arms off or whatever. Um, just right here at the forearms though. Uh, the rest of them were locked pretty good in place, but at the forearms, uh, very easy to disconnect and oftentimes lose their hands or whatever uh, but still not bad not bad at all really like these Ninja Turtle figures um, you know what, let's go ahead and see. we'll put the flag Right back there. And his belt loop just like that. Uh, we'll go ahead, put a shield in his left hand. Um, even though samurai swords were meant to be held with both hands, we'll just put it in his right hand with the shield and then so we'll just put the sheath draped over his arm just like that again a very nice figure from the playmates 1990 teenage mutant intros toy line uh, yeah, I highly recommend these. I mean, they still have great play features. Uh, a few years ago, I had ordered a bunch of Ninja Turtle and He-Man figures for my son for a second, second or third birthday um, off of eBay, and I think they got misdelivered by the post office because I never received them. Uh, eBay said they shipped and that they were delivered. I never got them. We had a substitute mail delivery person that day, so I think they were misdelivered. And of course, the post office wasn't going to reimburse me for them, which kind of sucks. Had a lot of great figures in there, but you know, it is what it is. I'm just glad there's a store relatively close to me, about 45 minutes away, like Retro Relics which carries these vintage action figures from my childhood.
Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, you can check out one of these two playlists right here on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched.